What's up, Sunbows? Welcome back to So Special once again for another report. This is a July mid-month check-in. Hope you're doing well. Um, I want to thank everyone who continue to support So Special. That, to me, is so special, just like you. Um, also, go ahead and I tap that thumbs up right now. Those of you behind the scenes who's been waiting, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and subscribe, okay? And let's go ahead and um, grow uh, together, okay? You are, um, let's say, my visiting soma seed, okay? And if you want to know what a soma seed is, it's seeds that are nurtured under the light and the darkness, the sun and the moon, okay? So if you know anything about growth, you know, the moon also grow very special herbs and spices okay and certain flowers okay more medicinal things okay so my soma seeds some grow in the heat of the light of the sun and some grow in the cool and the dark of the night you know <laughs> life is it's mysterious so let's go ahead and break the ice with a trivia question we got some new ones and you were chose for the gamer life, okay? So let's break that ice with the great gamer life for mid-month July check-in for our sun bowls. And the question is, the classic arcade game, Pong, P-O-N-G, was made by what company? The classic arcade game, Pong, was made by what company? Nintendo, B, Atari, C, Sega, S-E-G-A, or D-E-A? Nintendo, Atari, Sega, or E-A? All right, and I want you to think of the question and guess it before you look it up. Some of you in this era may already know, okay? So... It may be about the games you play, you know what I'm saying? No, but we're going we gonna to hum it first. Feminine and masculine energy, things that make you go, hmm, we're going to question this before we get off into the cards. Things that make you go, hmm, feminine and masculine for sun bowls, mid-month, July. Feminines, things that make you go, hmm, are things. You are not a fan of. So maybe it's not. Maybe this is in a conversation, you know. Nah, I ain't a fan of that. I ain't a fan of hers or something like that. I don't know. Or things or you are not a fan of. Number 25. To me, that is the um, first uh, pivotal point of maturity. This is the first pivotal, pivotal point of recognizing life. 25 also deals with the mistakes that you have made, okay? Good, you know, mistakes that turned out to be good and mistakes that turned out to be bad, you know? Now, we all been a kid before and did something that our mom thought she told us not to do, we did, but it turned out to be good, <laughs> okay? But if you like Michael in good times, you know, she still was like, but I'm still going to deal with you, you know? I think he still got punished when he messed with that gun. Masculines. Things you should never store in the cloud. It's funny it's on the masculine side. <laughs> Probably your penis or something. Okay. <laughs> That's number 54. Oh, it's funny. I said that. 54 deals with maintaining a relationship. <laughs> Talking about the clouds. Okay, y'all. More mature people, y'all know things you should and should not do. Okay, now you can't do that. <laughs> okay, so what is your oracle message? We are with the spiritual five handcraft. I didn't choose it, source chose it. She chose the trivial cards, she chooses all the decks. We go back and forth every now and then. I might give it, she might, well, you can choose, you know, either way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you that, you know. The answer and the energy you need. Okay? And for you, it is Uncle Sam. Now, I don't know if you got an uncle already named Sam or some. So for some people, Uncle Sam is a um, I 
a spirit guide. A lot of people know about Sam. I've had visitations from Sam. He smokes cigarettes. He smokes cigarettes. <laughs> but this could also be the government, okay? Uncle Sam. Maybe dealing with the money, the army. I don't know. Uncle Sam. We get ready to find out. Let's jump into it. Can I get four, please? Source four. This could also be maybe of the maybe this is the treasurer of the family, Uncle Sam. Like Uncle Sam would be like the P O A. Thank you, source, for that. When it never got that out of that. And I don't know why I'm getting saw. So you may be in or from other lands outside of the United States. Saw. I don't know if that is Arab. Or Asiatic. I don't know. I'm also getting Uncle Saul. Okay. I don't know if it's a Saul or he saw something. I don't know. Let's get going. Oh, that's your first one. Something about this saw or saw or something. Okay. Again. All right. Oh, there's sadness here. Underlining that this sword is coming out. It's some almighty truth again. Recognizing something to be exactly what it is. It, 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 it is what it is. It is what it is. And it's all coming out of this Queen of Wands energy. Now, this could be a feminine or a Mexican. Mexican. Maybe it is a Mexican. Um, a masculine. Um, but it's a very crafty energy. It's, it's also, let's get down to business energy. It's also, um, I, we can fight it out energy, okay? I'm hearing a beat. <laughs> a beat. I don't know if it's a beat down. Maybe this is in the ride with the beats. You know what I'm saying? But you got the stick, okay? Beat your ass. Okay, I beat your ass. It's the truth, okay? I don't know what's going on, but this midweek, you are contemplating some things, okay? A heartache, a heartbreak, a betrayal, yes. And because I see in the outcome, it's bygones are going to be back. It's, it's sadness here. There is a separation, and I, I just can't have you in my life, okay? I just can't hang with you no more. These could be friends, families, co-workers. It could be anybody. Like I said, we're dealing with Uncle Sam here. I don't know if it's a real... Uncle, because this is the military man. I'm speaking to somebody. This is a military person. It's a military. I also know for a fact that this is... Uh, this is also uh, reflecting a funeral. This person may have been in the armed forces. Okay. This is a funeral. This is mourning a funeral. Reflecting on a passing. Reflecting on loss. Betrayal. This is love. And it could have been in business. You know, a failed business. Supposed to have been an opening here. Okay. Or, because um, somebody is being invited in. This, this is... Come be with me. This is a good feeling. Okay? This is a good feeling. This is upgrade and improvement and socializing. But like I said, for some people, this is this this is like uh, a funeral. And uh, my condolences to you. Okay? Uh, we've also just had a loss in our family as well. It seems like it just keeps coming I'm also getting a denial here
44 is here coming to me, okay? 44 also deals with facing um, your future, meeting your destiny. And in meeting that destiny or meeting that one or whatever this meet, when you're coming to meet, it propels you or catapults you basically on your path. So I don't know if you will be promoted or demoted because catapulting can go either way because it seems like it's a downside. You know, a lot of weariness and, but I'm hearing hopeful. I'm just getting it. Hopeful. There's some hopefulness here. But it's a lot about honesty here, okay? Because underneath that is change, major change, okay? I'm sorry. She corrected me. It's a full 360 here. This is a coming around. But there is a 180 here. This is a 180. It is a change here. But it's something coming back around. It's got something to do with the truth, being honest. Something's perceived. Like, you can't deny when... No matter how hard you try, when this shows up, it's an absolute. You're going to have to bow down to the truth. Somebody will, you or somebody. I don't know. It could be the government. For somebody, this is somebody broke the law in a marriage. This is a military, and military people go to jail when they step outside their marriages because they know that's, that's a dangerous situation. You don't know what secrets is being told to our servicemen and they go home. You, you, you're talking about your bed pillow, you know. You don't know what's being shared. I, I, and also, it deals with the integrity of our government, you know. But I feel like the truth about because when I see this, this is this is this is infidelity. And that infidelity may have come out in business and work through work. It's going to, you have to be honest about that. It's gonna to have to come out. I see an eleven eleven. Yeah, it's like Uranus up and in reverse. It breaks you down, then it builds you up. Okay. Did I just say to relate to, allude to that earlier? Okay, so let's see what's connecting the dots to conclude this message. Okay, so we have these um, rainbow knit shoes. I'm hearing cheers. But it's like the bar, like the TV show cheers. But I'm also hearing cheers, like a celebration of some type, okay? They could be here with the Queen of Wands, you or someone showing up. You know, the cheers, hey, how you doing? You know, they're happy to see you, like they scoop. Also, I'm getting the rainbow. So if the rainbow is significant to you, it's here. Now, the rainbow is supposed to represent the promises of God. Okay, maybe it's coming through Uncle Sam. I'm also getting share. I don't know why I'm getting share, but it may be, I'm getting the name share, but I be, it may be in relation to sharing Sharing your happiness. Sharing your glow up. Something's very colorful here. Somebody may be, be making colorful lies. Making it very colorful. So it can be believable. But there's some perceiving here. Okay. 
And I'm going to close it out here for you to think about. So I'm just going to get tied all together. It's tying it all together this mid-month in July. Okay? And I'm going to leave it here until hopefully heaven's will, August. I'll see you for your monthly report. Don't forget to support the station. Those behind the scenes, please go ahead and subscribe. Support me. I've been doing this a long while. I need your support so that we can go live. Because I want to really connect with you. There's some things that we need to talk about. And peace on that. One love.